Howdy folks, it's Dr. here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 40th Anniversary Edition. And today we're going to continue on the missions. We'll just be doing mission videos after mission videos until we get these done. Maybe we'll throw a few things in between bush trips when they come out, I guess. We're not in a hurry, it's just I'm really enjoying these missions. Alright, I wanted to complete the airliner missions today. Um, the Caribbean landings I did off camera a long time ago. It was too bad too because my approach was horrendous, but my touchdown was perfect so i'm sad i didn't record it but i'll probably never do a good job again so i'm not going to redo it and we did the monsoon in a video recently probably the previous video maybe depending on my upload schedule so the last of the jets i believe unless i'm mistaken which i could be wrong but i believe the last of the jets is this one in the a310 which i don't know anything about so we're going to try this i'm not um expecting a great result but we're going to give it a shot as an orbit airline captain you spend your days and occasional nights in command of one of the world's most sophisticated airliners this afternoon's flight is about it's about is a short 113 mile hop down the west coast of italy from rome's fiumicino airport to capitacino international airport in naples it's an easy trip over some beautiful train from FSX. Alrighty, so um, I don't know if it's going to have autopilot. I don't know. I just know that the auto thrust thing gets me every time when I've tried other flights with these. You all know I'm not a tube liner person. I know a lot of people only fly two light tube liners to each of their own. I just don't enjoy them all that much. I have done a few with complete FMC and everything just to prove I could do it. Did it once or twice, don't care to do it again. So I do my best with these airliner ones, which is also I want to get them out of the way. So I don't have to look at them ever again. <laughs> so that's what we're doing this one today after doing the other two. So here we go. Let's see what happens when we fly. Let's see what happens. As an orbit airline, Captain, you spend your days and occasional nights in command of one of the world's most sophisticated airliners. This afternoon's flight is a short 113-mile hop down the west coast of Italy from Rome's Fiumicino Airport to Capodichino International Airport in Naples. It's an easy trip over some beautiful terrain. Okie dokie. Um, I clearly, clearly have no idea how to fly this thing. Um, so we'll do the best we can. It says IFR, so I'm assuming... I can I'll handle all radio communication on this flight. Hold short of the runway and I'll get our takeoff clearance. Okay, cool. You do it then. VMA Tower, orbit 221, ready to go. Holding short 16 R. Orbit 221, clear for takeoff. Maintain runway heading, climb and maintain 4000. Clear for takeoff, orbit 221. All right, has to be a way to do this faster. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff. Turn on the landing lights and then turn left onto the runway and let's head to Naples. After takeoff, maintain runway heading and climb lights. and maintain 4,000. Landing lights. Like I know where the landing lights are. There we go. I missed what they said because I was talking to myself. Parking brake off. Let's get... Um, how come reversers are engaged? Did you see that? That was weird. Reversers were engaged as soon as I touched it here. Huh. Let's do a quick drone shot while I can. This might be the only <laughs> only only shot I get of a thumbnail. Oh man, this airport's been a disaster, but that's okay. Come on, it's like with frame rates, but it's just the airport. Come on. Man, oh man. Did he say take off or just get on the runway? See, is there like auto thrust? Because nothing I'm doing is working. This is not working very well. Do you hear it? It's not at all matching what I'm doing. Interesting. Oh, reversers. Wait. Oh, my yoke is doing reversers too. That's weird. Hear that? Why is my yoke doing... It's like I don't have an 
dent, an ident, uh, you know, like a dent in my thing, so I can't find where it actually stops. So does that mean we're going to have reverses when I'm in the air? That's not going to be good. Did he say I can take off? I think he said I can take off. I wasn't really listening. Okay, so that means we're going to have reverses while I'm trying to fly in the air. This is not going to go well. Why do I have reverses on my yoke when I just bring them back? It's not supposed to be that way. What are flaps like? They're down. Okay, good. Um, 132 and the 90. Okay, so we're going to go pretty much straight out and then to the left. And we're up. And then the frame rates will smooth out as soon as we get in the air here. Gear up. Whoa, that thing's trimmed hot. This trim is crazy because It says turn 90 degrees after a bit and a half. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear, up. Flaps, set to zero. After takeoff checklist complete. Have a look out to the left. There's Rome. Okay, so right now we're facing 160 degrees. So I should be able to look to the left yet, right? You say 6,000? I'm going to do my best to do exactly what they say, but I've already kind of... Kind of got lost already. Just looking around. They say say seven thousand feet. I should be using autopilot. I know, but okay, seven thousand. Did he say ten thousand now? Maybe he said ten thousand now. I can't remember that far back in the conversation. But eventually we're going to 90 degrees. That would be this part down here when the map shows it. Thank you. So maybe not quite yet. Especially when, the turtle was flying. Especially when the turtle was flying. Okay. I definitely should not be flying this by hand. I should definitely be taking advantage of autopilot and the navigation and the FMC and everything. But I'm just literally taking it like a VFR GA flight. So. I apologize. Apologize in advance for those of you. Okay, because I'm already at 15, so I blew right by my 90 degrees. I got too excited. So, yeah, so if you want to see an IFR flight with autopilot. So if you want to see an IFR flight with autopilot and the FMC and the way it's supposed to be done, this is not the video for you. <laughs> because I'm just going to do um, do what I'm doing just to see if we can get there. Said 9 2, we're at 9. Five. 
Let me go back this way. I'm also going to come down because we're only supposed to be at like 11,000 feet or something, they said. But uh, I'm just going to hand fly this VFR GA style. Sorry, folks. But that's how we're going to do it. As long as we get there. To stay below 340 knots. As long as we. Are there spoilers in this? We'll just spoil it then. How about that? Oh my gosh, we're going down 6,000 feet per minute! There we go. Cool. Okay, we can bring this back in. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying, but... It's going. Okay, so there's part of Italy sticking out. That is probably this here. Yeah, I can see that there. So we are heading over these hills right here. What are we at? 90 some degrees. Yep. Okay, let's get our thrust back in now to level off. And there should be an airport if you look out. No quick climbing. This window. There should be an airport down there somewhere. I don't see one, but maybe we're over it. Like, literally over it. Perhaps. Okay, let's use some thrust to level off. Have some outside views while we're at it. Careful on the vertical speed. Look at those craters of water. That's cool. Very cool. Let's compare that to the map. Yep. Oh, our is that us? No, that can't. That can't be us. We're not supposed to be on the map for these. We're supposed to figure it out. So anyway, we're really close because we went right by the water and here are the two mountains. Bam, bam. Here they are. Bam, bam. So we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, even though we're hand flying it. So we're just not using autopilot and we're not using the FMC. Both of which we would do in real life. And I do not remember what they said for altitude. Does it say in here? No, it just tells you your fixes and stuff. Whatever. Enjoy it. Go as fast as we can here while we maintain about 15,000 feet just below the clouds. So here's your EDF card. So if they give us an NDB, we'll see if that triggers automatically. There's your VOR card. If they give us VORs, see if that triggers automatically. We don't have the GPS or anything. It seems on our class there. But um, we're doing okay, I think. I think we're doing okay. We just went, just went over this. What does that screen do? Well, that looks like fun. I better pay attention. What I'm doing though. <laughs> Let's go. Pay, <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> okay. So what are we doing? Now uh, we're about to hit this thing. So they should tell us to turn. What? Turn to 120 in a moment. So, we'll see here. Let's get more thrust. We're getting really slow. We do not need to go this slow. It'll take us forever if we keep going this slowly. Um, trim it though so you don't actually climb. Just gain speed, please. I just want to gain speed. I don't want to climb. Well, I just found a little cheat. Um, let's careful on our speed here. If we go out to this view, look it, it tells you up here. Look, it tells you, yeah, I will, I will. It tells you over here where you're supposed to be. Well, that's kind of funny. Okay, let's regain, now we're on the outside, let's jump back in and regain control of aircraft. And then we'll slowly turn to 120. And I guess we're just going to stay at 16,000 or so, whatever. Keep your speed up. No need to slow down. Okay, now let's turn to 120. Yeah, let's turn to 120 now. Alright, stay at 16,000 feet or so. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. 
and there's 120 roll out and let's see how close we are look at that right on if you look at that thing okay now we got a main control <laughs> main control of aircraft we're just gonna stay like this for a while Rome Center blue yonder 562 request blue yonder 562 go ahead any chance we can get a shortcut to Reggio Calabria blue yonder 562 stand by Blue Yonder 562, proceed direct to Reggio Calabria. Direct to Reggio, thanks. Blue Yonder 562. Blue Yonder, there we go. Now we got it trimmed. It should settle in around 16,000. Stay about 320. That's a good speed. That's fine. Hop out here. We're still on where we're supposed to be. Look at that. So even without using this thing, we were right on. So that's kind of cool. That's fun to know. But let's go to 124. Let's go back to 120. Oh. Careful with the climbing. No climbing, please. Emerald in 329. Contact Naples approach now on 124.35. 124.35 for Emerald Air 329. We'll see ya. 127285.3.26.2984. Niner. Okay, fine. We'll sell in at 16280. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. And 320 knots at 122, probably. Or a little bit to the right. Eh, we're spot on. Look at that, fabulous. My real life pilot friend, Oprah's oh, still climbing in. My real life pilot friend said that he used to hand fly his jets. Well, he still does jets, but is whenever the company rules would allow him to hand fly, he hand flew everything. Of course, there's certain times when you can't hand fly, you must use autopilot. But if hand flying was an option, he hand flew all the time, whenever he could. He hated autopilot, he loved flying. So that's what we're doing. This is dedicated to him. <laughs> flying right out the cloud layer. Hand flying just because we can. Oh, stop climbing. And that's still spot on. Look at that. When I say that, I'm talking about this. So this is our FMC, I guess. All right, so we're doing this for how many hours? Uh, five minutes, then we do 103 degrees. Okay, very cool. Let's not climb, please. I said stop climbing. Um, let's make sure like auto, auto thrust, auto thrust and stuff isn't even an option. Okay, it's turned off. Good. I don't even care about any of this. Autopilots are off. Good. Okay. Because I have had auto thrust issues in the past with this aircraft. Um, how are we doing? No, we're still on. We. St Drifting a little to the right because the winds. So let's go a little bit left here. On barometers, good. Yep. And straighten out. There we go. Now we have it under control. It only took 20 minutes. Up here, what do we got? A bunch of stuff I don't care about. All I really care about right now are the lights. So let's just zoom in on the lights right here and set my preset there. So I can turn the lights back on when they want me to. Otherwise, we're just going to hang out above these clouds. It's kind of cloud hopping a little bit. It's cloud surfing, I guess. And we're just going to keep going. Oh, we're still climbing like crazy. Come on, stop climbing. I'm going to get back down to 16,000 a bit. And that shows we're still on. So there you go. 106 degrees. And yes, we're still climbing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't deny it. I said we'd settle at 16 and we're up at 17. Whatever. What did he say? On 103. Yeah. Here we go, 103. Careful, because when you turn, you sink. There is 1, 5, 4, and 4 and a half. And how are we? Good. We'll stay at 105, just so we can line up, because he turned a little faster than they wanted us to. So let's go. 105, and eventually that'll line up the purple line. And let's try to stay balanced here. Ooh, our speed really went down too, because I bumped the throttle and it really screwed up our speed. I guess on my yoke and my throttle only travels like an inch and a quarter. It's way different than that kind of travel, right? Oh, so there are auto brakes in this. I can't remember if they're auto brakes or if they're always on auto brakes. Because the Boeing I set, on a Boeing I set, I set, what do I do? Um, I arm the spoilers, set the auto brakes, reverses on touchdown. This, I think, 
Well, this we know my reversers are going to be on my yoke, apparently. That's going to be tricky to not hit on accident. And then I can't remember if there's auto brakes or if it automatically does auto brakes in this. I can't remember. All right, we'll stay here just until we... Uh, just until we get back on the line, let's do... This is my number four. Do we see auto brakes? I can't remember. You can all yell at the monitor. Well, auto brake max. Okay. Whatever. We'll figure that out later. I'm just worried about this reverser thing that my yoke does the reversers without the button that I normally need to use for reversers. So that scares me a little bit. All right, I guess we're going to level off at 17,000. That's where it wants to be. That's where it's going to stay. And it's almost time to go back to 103 in a second here. All right, you think I can do some outside views? Whoa, that's messed up. Let's try that again. There we go, that's better. Let's do some outside views super quickly here. Um, just while we can, that is really loud. Sorry if it's bleeding into my microphone, but that's just how it's gonna be. Wow, beautiful. All right, put the toys away. And what's the airplane doing? Oh, it's good. The airplane is fine, it's holding stable. And let's go over to 103 now. Slight adjustment. 17,000 still climbing. Still wants to climb. Whatever. Hopefully our four minutes are up soon. And then there's only 36 seconds and then three minutes to land. So, oh, here we go. Now we're over speeding. Oh, that's so loud. 3,000 feet, 240 degrees. But we're over speeding with the flaps. And I can't slow down. Okay, I'm going to keep the flaps up until we are in control of what we're doing. Um, we're not going to run into that mountain? Okay, you said 240, right? 7,240 below 180. Well, none of that's going to happen. We're descending below 10,000 feet. Turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign on and reduce your speed to 250 KIAS. Ladies and gentlemen, we're literally just going to do that, actually. We hope you've enjoyed this short flight and hope you'll join us again. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. In preparation for landing, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in the upright and fully locked position. Is that our runway up there? Nope, it says we need to go even more to the right, so. Okay, we're almost at 7,000, and then I can... Is that a different airport up there, then? Um, must be. That must be a different airport. Because we're going, whoops, it says 240 or something, and this doesn't need to be to the right. So let's do this until we intersect. No, that's where we're headed. Yeah, okay, we can slow down now. 7,000 feet, let's not hit the mountain. Yeah, because it's going to want us to go left once we intersect with this. Okay, so we're good. We're good, and we can probably do flap 5 now. Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay. Um... Yeah. Looks fine to me so far, I think. Oh, we're gonna need more flap than that, or we're gonna run into some problems here. Ho ho ho, careful. Okay, ready to make our turn, almost. How much of the final are we gonna get? Oh, I see, that's a runway right there. Orientation. Ah, this is our final. It's a really long final. I see what's happening now. Okay. I was just a little uncertain because of the fact I've never flown this thing before. And I think if you point that screw, is it that screw you put at the threshold or something? I can't remember. But anyway. 
We're just gonna keep coming down here. Final looks outside. I'm just hoping we make it. I would love to take a drone shot of this without the heart in the way, but I cannot let go of my yoke. Next set of flaps. I think that's good. There we go. Now we can go even slower. Ha ha ha. So, um, I don't know how the reversers are going to work because they seem to be on my yoke without pushing my reverser button that I normally do. Um, as far as auto brakes, it says there's an auto brake here. I don't know if it's on or off because it doesn't light up. So I don't know. And maybe it's on here somewhere. Speed brakes extended. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, keep track of where we're going here. Careful. Um, speed brakes. Let's see. Will this turn on? Does not say anything about auto brake? Down here is what I was looking at. I don't know. The runway in sight. Orbit two two one. Orbit two two one. Clear for the visual approach. Runway twenty four. Clear for the visual. Orbit two two one. That's the airport, about eight miles ahead, just northeast of the city. Continue descending to the runway and maintain one hundred eighty knots. The airport is about three hundred feet above sea level. I had it all lined up till I looked at my stupid little screen. So, Orbit two two one. Contact hmm? Naples Tower now. One, yeah, so I don't know how. Gear down. Orbit two two one, Roger. I don't know how. Naples Tower, Orbit two two one on the visual approach for runway twenty four. Orbit two two one, Naples Tower. Wind call, runway twenty four. Cleared to land. Cleared to land. Orbit two two one. Okay, we're cleared to land. Lower the landing gear slowly at full flaps and reduce your speed to one hundred forty knots for the approach. Guess what? I just hit one forty. I just got gear down and I just did full flaps. I'm one step ahead of you, man. What I don't understand is the auto brakes and the reversers. So we're going to find that out together. Of course, I'm going to, well, because if I slam on my regular brakes, it might disengage auto brakes. So I don't know. I, in other words, I just hope we stop in time. That's all. I'm not worried about touching down. I'm just worried that about well, stopping in time. So here we go. A little bit to the right of the runway. Does this tell us anything? Yeah, it's just the path. It says we're on, which we're actually not, but we're a little slow, but it's okay. Let's get our speed up by pointing down, and then we'll get our descent from going down by using thrust. Nice long final. Whoop, I gave it too much thrust and it popped us up a little bit. Nope, stay below 140 here. Below 140, we were doing okay. Could be one quick drone shot, maybe. Maybe another quick drone shot like this. One more like this. Get back inside quick. <laughs> hey, look at that. 140. It says we're a little high and we're off to the right. Maybe a little crossing from the left, but we just want to touch down and stop in time. I don't care how smooth the touchdown is. I don't care how rough the touchdown is. I just don't want to crash and I want to stop in time. That's the extent of my jet flying. Let's run through the before landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Flaps, set to full. Landing checklist complete. So I can't remember in a jet. I don't think in a jet you go back to idle. Because you know in like smaller aircraft, the GA stuff, you like hit idle over the threshold and you coast down, blah, blah, blah. Unless you're bush tripping it, then you stall right before you touch down and slam on the brakes. But... In a jet, I don't think you actually do that. I think you actually touch down with some thrust, if I remember. I can't remember. Something like that, though. Ooh, wow, there's some weird stuff going on here. Look at these frame rates. They're, like, getting all goofy. Okay, that's weird. Maybe I should restart my computer, because I was getting 120 frames everywhere else in the world, so I don't think it's... This is weird. This is really hard to control. Um... This is not... What's going on? The heck? This is not flyable like this. This must be some kind of bug because I get 120 frames peak because that's what my monitor does everywhere I fly, even in, like, New York City. So, what the heck? Well, that's a little better. Okay, something weird is going on. I do know they've been having a lot of problems with their servers lately. Ever since the 40th anniversary release, it's been, like, two weeks of been like two weeks of problems. Where'd you fall west? Head east to get back on course. 
What? Is this the wrong is this the wrong airport? It said Romy twenty four. Oh boy. This is unflyable. Reversers working? Yeah, reversers are totally working. Orbit two two one, welcome to Naples. Continue roll out and turn left on taxiway B. Keep taxiing toward the end of the runway. B is the second taxiway from the end. Second taxiway from the end. Okay. Um, so now my frame rates are fine. So maybe it's just having a problem loading this stuff on the server. Because like I was saying, they have had really bad server issues ever since the 40th anniversary. Like, first of all, you'd be disconnected from everything. At least now we connect to everything. Um, did he say second taxiway? There's another one up here. I'm trying to see which one is second from the end. Whoops, maybe that was it. Anyway, um, at one point you couldn't even connect to anything and you're getting messages all over the place. But now, um, at least we can connect to stuff. It's just, maybe they're having problems loading things. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's fine now, so. Here we go. This has to be second from the end. Oh, no, there's a few more up there. Um, let's see, super quick here. Okay, it's going to be the, oh, it's the high-speed rollout they want. Okay, so we'll use the high-speed rollout. Man, those reversers kick in when my throttle's only halfway back. That's so weird. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If I were to actually learn this plane, then I would figure all that out. But just to get us through this flight, I think we're okay. Alright, here we go. Second from the end. Because there's one more up there, so... See, look at that. Reversers. Halfway, not even halfway. Like... Four... Or, um... Uh, uh, Five-eighths of the way is all reversers. And then I only get a little bit of forward. So weird. Oh, look at the little glider. It's so cute and tiny. Look at that. That's crazy. So I'll show you halfway back on my yoke is here. Okay, so the reversers start halfway. That's weird. I guess then normally I have to push a button for that. So the rest of you who fly this plane regularly are rolling your eyes, I know, but I don't know. We're just doing it. Alright, so where am I going? If I don't go to the right spot, they won't pass or they won't like make market complete, so we have to go to the right spot. You better be going the right way because... Oops, he reverses around again. You better be going the right way, man. This is, um... Because I want to complete this successfully. Man, the frame rates at this airport are just ridiculously awful. This rule approach doesn't say where we're parking, so we're just gonna... follow through. It also shows it is an evening flight here. But that was definitely not evening for us. In the meantime, hope we all are enjoying this. Hope you all like lights on, like, subscribe, etc., etc. Um, taxi. Just taxi, I guess. Can't find the click spot, whatever. And anyway, hope you all enjoying it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, know what comes up next and where are they sending us because this is taking forever I love taxiing and things but I don't even know where we're going Congratulations. You have successfully completed the mission. oh we completed it it says oh we just taxied that's it okay cool all right, we did it 100% complete. Like, subscribe so you know what comes next is I don't even know what's coming up next, and I'll see you next time.